What's up, family? All right, so in Donald Trump's latest attempt to let you know just how he feel and that he don't give a damn about you, your children, your community, and nobody else. All he cares about is his agenda. This time he goes in on Planned Parenthood by defunding it. It goes like this, y'all. Donald Trump privately signed a bill on Thursday that allows states to withhold federal money from organizations that provide abortion services, including Planned Parenthood, a group frequently targeted by Republicans. The bill, which the usually camera-friendly Trump signed without any media present, reverses an Obama-era regulation that prohibited states from withholding money from facilities that perform abortions, arguing that many of these facilities also provide other family planning and medical services. The bulk of the federal money Planned Parenthood receives, though, goes toward preventive health care, birth control, pregnancy tests, and other women's health services. Federal law prohibits tax dollars from funding abortions, and Planned Parenthood says 3% of the services it provides are abortions. The signing comes weeks after Vice President Mike Pence, a social conservative who regularly touts his anti-abortion stances, cast a tie-breaking vote in the Senate after two Republicans opposed the measure. Women's worst fears are now coming true. We are facing the worst political attack on women's health in a generation as lawmakers have spent the past three months trading away women's health and rights at every turn Don Legaines, executive vice president of Planned Parenthood, said in a statement. The law once again raises questions about the power Ivanka Trump, Trump's daughter and aide, actually wields inside the West Wing. The first daughter met with the president of Planned Parenthood shortly after her father was inaugurated in an attempt to better understand the group that is regularly targeted by Republicans. She has also cultivated an image of a moderating force inside the White House. Trump has even said Ivanka Trump would be his guide on women's health issues. Ivanka is so much into the whole issue of women's health and women, Trump said in 2015 interview with Fox News. And she's my guide on the whole subject. But the first daughter has been hesitant about her public speaking about her views on abortion, despite saying she would be an advocate for women's health inside the White House. Yeah, right. Anyway, I don't talk about my politics, she said to a Boston Globe uh, news agency in 2016. I don't feel like it's my role. I'm the daughter. I don't think my politics are relevant to the discussion. Anyway, I would just like to say, God bless Trump. God bless Donald Trump. Would somebody please play the, I mean, what can I get y'all to play? Please play the, play the battle hymn of the Republic. That would be good. Somebody play the battle hymn of the Republic because Donald Trump is a great guy and this is just such a great day in American history. And Donald Trump single-handedly, without a cape, saved tens of thousands of babies' lives. But then he sent the bomb over to Syria and destroyed tens of thousands of baby lives. So where does that leave us? See, here's the deal, people. Abortion, uh, uh, Planned Parenthood is not just about abortions. Uh, as stated, some of the services it provides are, uh, where, 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 okay, some of the services it provides are preventive health care, birth control, pregnancy tests, and other women's health issues. But it also provides uh, 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 cancer screenings, uh, including breast uh, including uh, uh, breast exams and pap tests. So 
it's, it's more than just abortions, but you know how they do. They get one little thing, you know, the abortion is the, that abortion is that, that, that trigger. That's the, that's the trigger word they use. Abortion, abortion, are oh, you killing and kill these innocent children? And here's the deal. People like to say, I don't want to use my tax dollars on killing innocent children, but they have no problem using their tax dollars killing innocent men and women on death row. Yeah, you know how many people that have, have, have been exonerated because of DNA tests that were on death row that would have died? Now just imagine how many more didn't get the benefit of a DNA test. Just imagine how many more didn't get the benefit of an accuser, so-called eyewitness or whatever, coming forth and saying, you know what, I lied. There's a lot of people that get killed on death row that were innocent. But y'all don't care nothing about that because, you know, this is America and we like to punish and it's all about killing somebody, doing something to somebody. Somebody got to get it. Somebody got to get it. If I'm mad, I wake up mad. Somebody got to get it. And even if I wake up happy and somebody told me I need to be mad, somebody got to get it. Well, if I'm supposed to be mad, well, who making me mad? Who you say made me mad? They, them? Okay, and what we need to do to them? Okay, let's do it. All right, go ahead and do it. I'm with you. That's how we get down in America. That's, that's the way we get down in America. It's like somebody got to get it. We don't give a damn about how it go down, but somebody got to get it. And I tell y'all all the time, people with no moral flexibility scares the hell out of me because these are the most hypocritical people in the world. The people that do this type of stuff, the main ones that point fingers at everybody else, they are the main ones that get caught up in scandals. They're the main ones that when that shoe get on that other foot, you know, they duck it and hide. You know, it's all it always comes down like that. Now, Planned Parenthood happened to be the biggest. Now, I will say this, you know, let's let's keep it real. You know, Planned Parenthood is uh one of the biggest killing machines out there when it comes to uh, babies, you know, when it comes to human beings, period. I mean, they 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 provide a whole lot of they provide a whole lot of abortions, you know. But the thing is, this also, it's like, why is it that we have these men, these old wrinkled up ass men? I know I said wrinkled. I know it's supposed to be wrinkled. But I won't say wrinkle. Wrinkled up and wrinkle mean like if I say wrinkle, that means that's, that's, that's the umpteenth mother. It's really bad. He's really fucked up. But you old ass wrinkled man trying to tell women what to do with their bodies. You always got these men. Why is it always men leading the charge and trying to tell a woman what to do with her body? Pac said it best. Since a man can't make one, talking about a baby, he has no right to tell a woman when and where to create one. You know what I'm saying? Damn, boy, we, we need that kind of rap back. But get back on, let's, let's, get, let's get back on subject. Why is it that men always trying to tell women what to do with their body? They want to tell a woman what to do with her uterus. It's ludicrous. <laughs> it's ludicrous, man. It's ludicrous trying to tell a woman what to do with her uterus. If you are a man, makes absolutely no sense. Next thing you know, you're going to have men out there trying to control a woman's bowel movement. They're going to be trying to tell her when, she, when, when she can go take a dump. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. It makes no sense to me. But hey, you know, this is America and all we got to do is pass a law and we can make somebody act like we want them to act because 
we stand on a high moral ground. And what's funny to me also is that many of the same people that are screaming at anti-abortion thing. And I'm not saying one way or another. I mean, you know, I think it's a personal choice personally. So, you know, hey, whatever floats your boat. But it just amazes me that some of the same people that are against abortion, so vehemently against abortion, and some people that will go crazy and shoot up a place, shoot up an abortion clinic. And some of these people are some of the most hating ass people in the world. They're hate mongers. Many of these people are hate mongers. Many of them are bigots. Many of them are greedy. They don't give a damn about nobody except them and their little unit. But they come across as good patriots, Americans. I love America. God bless America. Really what they're saying is that God bless me. Let me get all I can get out of this. Let me ride this American wave as much as I can for myself. And then, but if you disagree with me, you got to get shipped back overseas. You, or you got to die. You got to go to jail. You got to be punished. You got to be beat up. You got to be something. Also, I can maintain my, my privileges. Yeah, that's a good word, privileges. Yeah. So, in conclusion, I would just like to say that it is absolutely stupid to defund any organization that helps millions of people, to, that provides services that helps millions of people because you don't agree with one service that they provide. You want to throw the ba the baby out with the bathwater. Makes absolutely no sense. And only a stupid motherfucker would support something like that. But having said that, guess who signed the order to defund Planned Parenthood? Donald Trump. You guessed it. A stupid motherfucker. No more talk.